how can you build momentum as a beginner, right? So we all have goals. And when I try to explain this, like we all don't have the same goals. So I'm gonna explain it in like a habit, like habit terms, like, okay, like we're trying to build habits. How do we build momentum on the habits? And you could probably apply it to any of your other goals as well, because the habits that we implement lead to the goals that we want. So <clears throat> how can we build momentum as a beginner, right? You're starting out and you don't really like, like you want success and you keep falling into like these like ruts. Like, let me show you, right? Like maybe for like two or three days, you, you do your, you do your stuff, right? And then you go down and then you're down for like a week, right? And then you go up again, right? Oh, like two more days, like I'm doing good. And then you're down and then two weeks later go by, right? Like we all, I've been in so many ruts and it was just like, it all came down like a conscious thing and me not tracking like where I was at and what I wanted to do. So how do we build momentum from here? Where do, where do you go from this rut that you're in, right? Number one is like recognizing your goals and why you want them because it all starts from your goals. What do you want, right? Let's say in self-improvement terms that you just want to meditate, journal, meditate, journal, and read every single day. <clears throat> Those are pretty good habits, right? And so what you want to do is when you implement a habit, you got to ask yourself, why do you want it? Because you can't just be like, oh yeah, like I just want to, I just want to do whatever. You got to implement a habit that aligns with your goals and aligns with your desires. Like people will just hop on self-improvement and just be like, yeah, I want to meditate and journal, blah, 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 blah. But like why? Just because someone's telling you to do them doesn't mean that you have to do them. You got to understand why you're doing it. So it's recognizing why you want those habits in the first place and how you can align those to your goals, right? That's the first thing. And then the second thing is going to be tracking your habits, like build a habit tracker. Like, like I, I cannot stress this enough, like tracking your habits every single day. I've been doing it for, for the past five and a half months. So this is my January one, right? There's some red, there's more green. And I have like a wall, like right behind this camera, there's like a fucking whole wall of just papers on them. And what this does is allows me to kind of almost reflect and understand, okay, where did I, where did I go wrong? Okay, this is red and this is red. I failed on this day. Why? And it allows me to reflect and understand why I didn't do that. And then when I understand why I didn't do it, I can understand the triggers, right? The triggers. Okay. Um, well, I didn't do this because, okay, I did this instead, right? Or this got me distracted or this came up. It's like, it's so much better to be aware of these things and just then just just wake up and just do whatever you know what I mean it's good to have a morning routine and like a routine in general because let's really think about it right you want it to be frictionless you don't want to feel uncomfortable or you don't want to feel like pain or like resistance when you're trying to build a habit because it is hard to build habits right when you're doing something that you normally don't want to do your brain puts you in this box in this circle and what you're trying to do is break out of that box and what your brain will do is like be like, no, like we don't do that. So it's going to be uncomfortable regardless if you want to build a habit. So what we're going to do is try to minimize that resistance to a bare minimum. So what that means is doing that habit at a bare minimum. When I first started tracking my habits, I told myself, you know what? I'm not even going to care about the results. I just want to see where I'm at. And I just did the bare minimum. Like when I said I wanted to read, I would just put the word reading, like, right? Just reading. I didn't put this many chapters or this many pages or this many, like, no, I didn't do any of that. I just said read, right? All I had to do was read, read what? Read a sentence, read a paragraph. That's all like the bare minimum. And if I really wanted to do more, I would do more. But it's all just a, a matter of just showing up to the habit in the first place. It's not about completing it's not about doing so much because like what i would do is like oh yeah like i'm gonna wake up and read for like three hours and learn and do the pot do like watch this podcast and do work for like five hours straight like no it like that's almost like this is this is what you were doing there this is what i used to do right i used to be like yeah yeah i'm gonna do those things right i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right for two days you do it and then boom done and then you need like two weeks to recover and from doing that because Number one, you're not used to it. And second of all, you just like kind of just propelled yourself in there. No wonder you're going to fall. So 
it's almost like a mountain in a sense, right? Like when, if you're, for example, rock climbing, you wouldn't just like be like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb it like really fast because you really don't know like which rock to do or you're, you're not seeing clearly. You're just trying to get to the top for the results. But that's not how people do it. You gotta do one rock at a time, climb up sh slowly but surely. That's what we're trying to get at. So when you're a beginner, like for example, like I try to, I used to like wake up at like what, like 8 a.m., right? That's not too bad, right? The first thing I would do, right, in my morning routine is go downstairs, make some eggs and make some coffee. I'd bring it upstairs to my room. And at this time I didn't have a PC, I had like a laptop. And so I'd sit at my laptop and be like, all right, I might as well watch some YouTube, right? While I eat my breakfast and then I could start to work. So I shit you not, this was like back, this was like early 2023. This is when I used to play like video games a lot. So what I would do is I would, um, I'd watch a ninja, like, you know, ninja from Fortnite. He, he would stream. I would just be like, oh yeah, like I might as well watch this while I eat. Right. And then as I'm watching it, I'm done my food, but I'm just like, oh, like he's still in the game. They're like, let me, let me watch, see what happens. Right. And so I'd watch it. Right. And then two hours later, I'm on a whole nother, I'm, I went down the YouTube rabbit hole and I just like completely ruined my morning. Oh, time to go to the gym now. Right. Morning routine was ruined. Right. I didn't have a set in stone routine on what I wanted to do. I was just like blindly doing things. And people don't realize like people run on autopilot. Like when you are not aware of what you're doing, you're going to run on autopilot regardless. Because for some reason, when humans are not aware of what they do, they literally just, they, they don't really think for themselves. They just go, they just move with the flow. Right. And that can be kind of dangerous because it, you could be moving and not knowing where you're going and end up in a spot you didn't want to be in. So I really suggest reflecting and understanding your goals, writing down your habit tracker, creating it and write down a couple like habits that you want to implement every single day. I'll show you again what it looks like. It says you write your goals, you write your habits at the top, you write down the numbers, the numbers on the side, and then you don't have to get a green and red marker. You can kind of like check it or exit off. It's, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. But, and then on the back of this thing, I have like a, kind of like a graph almost. Like you can see, like I go up, 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 down, up, 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 down. Like I went from a six to a two the one day for like a couple of days. And that that's as real as it gets right there. That's like reality. So what we can do now, right, in order to get momentum as a beginner is scrap all the whole stuff like, oh, I want to do all these big things when you're a beginner. That's not how it's going to work. So here's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is when we do the bare minimum, we want to slowly but surely just tread a oh, little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit. Like we want to slowly but surely climb up the mountain slowly but surely. This is what it will be like little divots. And maybe you have like a day like this, like where you go down, but then you climb again, climb again, climb again, and climb again. Like we want it to be more like this because look, here's where we're starting and our goal is all the way up here. So it's slowly but surely you're treading, you're treading, do the bare minimum every single day. And you could add, add and subtract whatever you want. Because when we do start this, right, the the bare minimum is so important. Showing up and getting your body used to showing up, it will be completely frictionless. I made this mistake when I first started doing this. Like, yes, I, on the first month I did the bare minimum, but then the second month I was like, I was like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna do so much, right? I put like, what was it? I tried to put like, add so many things to the habit tracker to make it more complicated. I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm just trying to get wins. I'm just trying to like build up wins. So, and then at the end of the month, right, I would look how much red I got, how much green I got, and I would kind of put, give myself a percentage that I passed the month. What type of grade did I get? Like A, B, C, D, F. My first habit tracker, I've come, I completely like had an F on that. Like it was, it was, it was just for me to track my habits. So this is how we really build momentum. The first month when you start your habit tracker, right, it's a matter of not really like worried about all oh, like getting like getting red or green it's about seeing where you're at and where you want to go it's a matter of getting like collecting getting that awareness be more aware of like okay i want to do this how can i do how can i implement this habit in my day to make it frictionless so this is going to be my next point of it's called like bookends right the morning and the night 
these are the times where we can really implement these types of habits because I used to never like for the longest time I didn't meditate for like maybe like a month or two and it was because my meditation was not in my morning routine I would do it oh I'll just do it when I get home when I get home I'm tired blah blah, blah from like work or whatever and then I just wouldn't do it personally for me when I have my habits that I want to do I it's mostly I can do them at morning and night because in the middle of the day you don't it's like it's like free for all right there, right? It's a free for all like in the middle of the day because you either have what? You have work, school, responsibilities. Maybe you have like a family event or something. Like there, there's things that come up in our lives, which is fine. So I think it's really good to be strict in the beginning at the end and in the middle be flexible. Wake up at the same time every day and go to bed at the same time every day. Do the same things in the morning and night. And in the middle, it's like a flexible free for all. So I'm, I'm still like not, I'm not like, a, I'm not like an expert at this. Like, you know what I mean? I'm still... Like, I would say, like, I'm in, like, intermediate, right? Just above beginner. Because I'm still learning, like we all are. So, like I said, build momentum slowly but surely. Tread the mountain. Tread slowly but surely. Climb each rock slowly but surely. See what you're grabbing and then go up the mountain. For example, when I used to go to school in the morning, I'd, uh, I'd have class, example, 7.33 in the morning. I would wake up at 7 right? I'd have to pick up my friend. I'd get ready for, I'd to get ready, put all my clothes on. And I'd be late every single day to, to school. I'd be like 10 minutes late to class every single day. And it was just because when I woke up, I was scrambling to get my clothes on, pick up my friend. Oh, like I'm here, here. Then we go to Wawa. Then we go. So it's like when you're scrambling in the morning, your whole day's thrown off, right? What I suggest you do in the morning is prime your mind tune it to the higher vibrations. If you believe in frequencies, if you believe in a higher power, you believe in like tuning your mind, right? Like for example, abundance, right? We want to tune our mind to abundance or gratitude. Those types of things in the morning can prime your mind for the rest of the day. It can, it can set you up in like a higher frequency. Therefore, you have a more likely chance of achieving your habits for the day. It all starts with a choice though, because that's how we build these habits is starting from a choice. And how do we make a choice is to become aware. Be more aware of what you do every day. And I hope this video has like kind of helped you in a sense. If you kind of get what I'm saying, start at the bare minimum, right? Make it frictionless. Put your habits that you can do in the, in the morning and at night. For example, my nighttime routine, what I would do mostly is like I would either like read or I definitely stretch before I got into bed. And then maybe I journal, right? I don't have much to do at night, but mostly in the morning is where I do everything. I have like a block on my habit tracker that just says morning routine, right? That's a win. Every single morning I wake up and just do my morning routine. So in the beginning, it's all about getting those wins and seeing where you're at. It's not about getting a whole green habit tracker because personally, I'm not there yet, right? I hope this video has helped you. Continue your journey and keep moving forward.